1946 Dodge truck and uh, I finished the majority of the welding on this uh, nine inch rear end. This is from a 1979 uh, Ford pickup truck and it actually had been in uh, 88 Ranger. And that's what it was shortened for, but it fits really good on this uh, 46 Dodge truck. And so what I did was I put these flanges on before and then I, I added these triangles back here and stuck on the uh, flanges for the sway bar. And I also made all these pieces to hold on the spring seats, or to hold on the air, air springs, the airbags. Uh, I had to leave enough room to get my hand in here and to get a bolt right in there to bolt the airbag onto the top of this. Um, a lot of guys stick the airbags in back of the ladder bars, like in back of the rear end, back in here. But then you end up with a small gas tank or you have to stick the gas tank in the bed. And I, I don't really want to do that. I want to have a normal size gas tank. So that's where I stuck the uh, air springs up on top. I like them better up there anyways. Um, you see I put this back brace on. There's a little bit of rust on the rear end. Not a lot, but it was 40 bucks. So I figured what the heck I'll put that on there. It's kind of massive overkill. but So I put that on. I put this quarter inch thick uh, panard bar brace on. And uh, it, it's kind of overkill too. It probably could have been, you know, three sixteenths or maybe eighth. But I drilled a lot of holes in it to try to lighten it up some. And uh, I'm going with a uh, Panar bar that was for a Camaro. I forget what year it was. And I cut it down. It's, it's pretty heavy duty. I was kind of surprised. It's heavier than a lot of the uh, pickup trucks. So that's where I'm at for now. And I'm going to go back and uh, stick this thing back underneath of it. And I'll show you a little bit more. So now I'm showing you the side view of the truck with uh, it's at its stance. This is how it would sit um, on the road. And uh, if you look in back of the wheel, you can see the sway bar sticking out the back. And if you look at the, at the front, you can see the ladder bars sticking out of the front. And you notice the sway bar is upside down. I tried it every way I could, and this was the best way I could get it. You can see the uh I don't know what you want to call them, mounts for the uh, sway bar that I put onto the frame. <laughs> and this is in the, uh, the position it rides at. See the uh, airbags in there and the spring mount. And the spring mount at the top of that is like right at the top of the bed pretty much. It'll pretty much be flush, maybe down a half an inch underneath the floor of the bed. So I'll have to build the bed around those spring mounts. Uh, you can see the back brace on the rear end, and you can see the gigantic panelard bar that came off the Camaro. And uh, it's sitting pretty good, except on the front of the spring mounts, I'm going to have to chop off that piece of quarter inch plate and move it forward an inch, and I'll show you that. You can see the side again, and I got the rear end jacked up all the way, and uh, those blocks right there are what it would be at a ride height. So that's as if it you know, either let all the air out of the bags or it's in a hole or something like that. Okay, so uh, I got the rear end jacked all the way up, like I just talked about, and I should have made this length, like, at least nine inches, if not 10 inches wide, because I, I can get my hand in here around the bag on two sides, but the way it's like folding, it's just rubbing this corner, and I don't like that, so I think I'm gonna have to cut this piece off and move it over that way an inch to give myself some extra clearance because I don't want the bag ever to hit this. Now I know that's bottomed out and there's no air in it, but I don't want it to ever rub off of anything. So I'm going to have to do some more work. That'll all get cut. That'll get cut. Same with over there. Again, the rear end's all the way up and uh, I'm just checking clearances on everything. And then I was going to let it down. So I had two inches of up travel and short of four inches down travel. I got about three and three quarter. And the, uh, the most I'm allowed to stretch that bag is the nine inches and it's at eight and three quarter right now. And the shocks are holding it from going any farther down. Uh, the sway bar, you can see it's starting to get close right there. I got plenty of room on the panar bar and get my hand in there. So everything's looking pretty good. I just have to make that change to the, the spring perch and I'll be in good shape. And it looks like I won't be doing much more on this thing for a while because i got to work on my house, unfortunately. So, catch you in a few months. Bye.